Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here again with part three of our fairy tales Karen chat because this is going to take us a while and we're just going to do it until we finish because people have requested it, which I'm happy to do. After this one, we'll be colouring in Kelly Horton's um, fantasy fairy tales one. And we might go for the Wizard of Oz picture, I don't know yet. So first of all, I want to say this is an adult channel. These videos are not aimed at or made for children. They are adults. We talk for adults. We talk about adult topics. Um, just so that you know where we stand on that. Um, I've actually not got my pencil sharpener here, so I'm just going to go and get it. I won't be a sec. Well, so, sorry about that. That was because I was colouring over on the sofa in the new Colour in Heaven magazine book, and I bring it back over so we're still doing the leaves so we're gonna come down here and do these ones down here by the mouse so I'm using the ink tent still I have got to say that I love the ink tents but it is a nightmare having to set it up all the time and it takes a lot longer than just say using uh, pencils or markers. Markers are remarkably quick. They really are. Especially if you're working in a grayscale book. But, you know, we've got all these mediums. We've got to use them all. The only problem I find is the top doesn't stay on the Derwent tin very well. So I do need now to get a new pencil case. So I'm going to do that next when I, when I get paid on Friday I think I'll order 151 and I'll put my um god what are they called sorry uh, do you know what I'm not with it today uh, my uh, black widows in them because I've got you know with the two skin tones they've got and then they've got the allegedly another 48 set coming out in uh, April, I haven't heard much about that. I've just—it's just a rumor. But uh, so I thought I'd get a big one for that, and then we'll uh, worry about that. You know, then we'll just get that done and uh, crack on with it. I do hate doing in there. I always find I end up with terrible lines when I'm doing in here. So I'm actually going to turn the camera off and do this separately because it's just too difficult with the where the camera is. I won't be a sec. So I've got the page upside down at the moment. But I think what I'll do is this edge, because it's so close, I'll colour that off camera a bit. I've missed up a bit of one there. And then what I'll do is I'll come in and I'll do the water part on camera. Um, because that'll be easier, I think. This bit's not too bad because it's not so far in, this one. So I wanted to say hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you are enjoying the channel so far. If you've got any suggestions, leave them down below. I'll always answer any comment, as long as it's sensible. And uh, yeah, it's nice to have you on this journey with me. Thank you for joining me. If you're on Facebook, please consider drop, drop, dropping over to um, my colouring group. It's called Andrea's Attic Colouring Group. It's a public group at the moment. Um, I will leave a link below for you so you can find it if you want to join. There are just a couple of questions that you need to answer. Nothing too taxing. And I will happily accept you into the group where you can post your pictures. I love to see everything that you've done over the course of the month. Um, so please do post what you've been colouring in through February. If I get enough of them, I might make a um, a short video with some silent music and everybody's name on it, showing what they've coloured for the month. If you don't want to be included in that, just say 
on your picture when you upload it onto the group don't include on video and I won't it's that simple um, I want to thank everybody who's been really supportive over the trolling incident I've decided that I'm not going to worry about it anymore and any more comments like that are just going to get removed I'm not going to even respond let, let you know we must not feed the trolls remember do not feed the trolls we need to put the sign up again it must have fallen down um, you know people don't agree with the way I colour that's fine and I don't mind constructive criticism but when somebody actually outright tells you you're wasting your time and that you know you're doing it wrong and it shouldn't be this colour and it's like well justify it you know justify why it shouldn't be that colour don't just say that doesn't look right tell me what colour you think it should be and I'll explain why I did it the colour I did it and, it, and it, you know, it's just we're all different and we're all colouring for different reasons. So I had noticed that that person only was colour it, commenting on the ones I did with the markers for some reason. She did contact, comment on the colouring uh, chat, the last one of these, because of the rant. So she obviously was watching them. And uh, I just removed the comment. So thank you everybody who's been supportive. But uh, we're done with feeding the trolls now. Any more are just going to be immediately deleted and we're not going to worry about it anymore. We're not going to let it stop us enjoying our colouring and our talking and our, our chatting. So last week I did want to do a weekly vlog and guess what? I forgot. Uh, that's just because I'm so busy. So I'm going to try and do one this week. So you'll see this on Monday. I'm filming this Sunday night. And so you will see this, um, well, hopefully on Monday. I'm having problems with my laptop at the moment. Laptop itself is fine, but I'm not very good with the trackpad. I don't like them. I don't particularly like using a laptop. It's just better than sitting at a desk using a big computer. I also have for various other things. Um, it means that with the laptop, I can sit on the sofa and have a laugh. Watch TV and sit with Paul and Jennifer. But... Um, I don't like the trackpad so I use a mouse and I broke my mouse. Boo hoo. So I've ordered a new one um, and it's coming tomorrow so. And when I say I use a mouse I am so old fashioned. I use a wired mouse because with Jennifer if I used a, 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 um, a wireless mouse it would go missing. And we would never see it again. So it's got to be tethered. Even without Jennifer I'd probably lose it. So my local jumble sales back open. It had closed. I think I mentioned that. Where I get most of my eBay stock from. It's now open again. It's very quiet at the moment. Because not a lot of people know it's back open. Um, because they've only been open two days. So we'll just, word will stop, start spreading and hopefully it'll pick up for them. So the lady running it is really nice. I've been chatting to her. She's a lovely lady. I, we took a load of books down on Saturday morning before we went into Newport. And uh, Tuesday I'm going to take some of Jennifer's clothes down her old clothes because she's gone up another size now and I've got so many clothes. I was saving them because I was thinking of doing a car boot sale and I still want to but I also don't because I'd rather be buying and looking for stock at boot sales and looking for records for myself so I decided not to do one so I'm just going to give her clothes to the um, St John's Ambulance Jumble Sale. And they can hopefully make some money on them. Uh, the lady knows I buy stuff there to, to sell on eBay. She knows that I'm, I'm reselling it. No, I didn't put the other ones on it. Oh, it doesn't matter. It looks fine. Um, and she said, that's fine. You do what you want with it. it don't bother me. She's done it herself in the past. So she's really nice. But it's just a nice place to go. They always have some nice toys there. We picked up loads of bits and pieces for Jennifer Toys Wise. I've even bought clothes for her there, and the clothes I bought for her, she may have bought once and be going back down. Um, so we went on Saturday morning. We went first of all to the goodbye shop to look at their stack of records. 
they're a house clearance um, firm. They sell furniture, second-hand furniture. But they also have a, a stack of books and records. And every now and again, I go and look down and look at them. There wasn't much, pretty much what I've seen last time. I did pick up one record. I think it was there last time. I didn't pick it up, and that's a record by um, a 50s singer named Brenda Lee, 50s, 60s. It's not got any songs I know on it. I think that's why I left it before, but I think, nope, I'm going to give it a go. And that one was 50 pence. I spent 40 pence on two tops in the tax sale and dropped off my postage that I had to drop off. And then I and Paul, we went into Newport and Newport was rammed on Saturday. I don't know why. There was something going on because there was some sort of gymnastics event for, for kids going on. So probably at the, King, at the um, Newport Centre because there's lots of gymnastic um, girls dressed up and wearing medals and things. Um, with great big silver bows or maybe some sort of dance event. There's something going on today and on, on Saturday in Newport. But we had to park on the very, very top of the Kingsbury Centre car park. And we've never done that. It's never even been open to the top as far as I know. It's very rare they have it open all the way to the top, which is seven and it's and it is open. It's open air. So it was very, very windy. Never parked up there before. But it was good. Um and we went into Peacock's and bought some clothes for Jennifer. She's already got a lot of clothes because her Nana Sally buys her loads of clothes. Um, but then I just fill it out with the stuff I think she needs. Um, mostly pyjamas and stuff for bed. You know, her sleeping stuff. But also I bought some t-shirts because Nana Sally bought stuff that didn't have t-shirts in it. She bought some bodysuits, which is getting a bit old for bodysuits to be honest. Just simply because when she gets to potty training, you want something she can pull up and pull down. So a top that she can pull up and a um, pair of trousers or a pair of tights that she can pull down. She'll still wear those bodysuits because they are lovely and they will, they're all right for, you know, when we're going out and about. Um, some nice dresses and stuff. So I bought a load of t-shirts and some le leggings and jeggings for her. Couple of pair of pajamas from Tesco today. A pair of wellies so she can splash around in the rain with Grandad um, in the garden. She goes out in the garden, doesn't matter then if she steps in a muddy puddle or something else that's not so pleasant. It won't matter. You can just give her a quick clean up and away she goes. Um, so that's when she got Pepper Pig boots. But she loves her pajamas. She loves CBBS, and there's a program on CBB called Hey Dougie, and it's just a dog, and he um, runs the Squirrel Club, and they're little animals, little children, ch children animals, baby animals or young animals, and it's it's almost like a Cub Scout thing, so they earn badges for doing certain jobs, and she loves it, and so she's got Hey Dougie pajamas, and she just adores those pajamas. She doesn't want to take them off. She got them on tonight. I said to her, if you have your bath, you can have your Hey Dougie pyjamas on. And she goes, Dougie, Dougie. And she's so cute. So that's that bit. I've just got to find my bit of kitchen towel to wipe my brush on. Because that's all of that. Just give it a dip. There we go. Put that on. So. That's, I think, all the leaves anyway. I think now, excuse me, I am drinking tea. I'm going to do all the roses on the dress. So you see I've done this one here. And there are, what, there's one there, there's one there. And I think there's uh, a rosebud there. There's a bit of leaf on it as well, but uh, I said I'll do that bit off camera. Um, and then next time, I'm just gonna grab the pencils. And next time we'll do the, um, I just gotta find the colors I want. No. Oh, it's a problem. It's hard to see them. Poppy red. Chili red. They're the ones I like. Let's put that back there for now. And I'll just give these a quick sharpen. So I am still planning on doing my... Um, oh, gosh, what's it called? Supplies. My complete supplies collection. Um... 
I haven't done it yet because I've got to get them all. Some, some of them are up in the bedroom. I've missed a bit of leaf there as well. Uh, I hate it when I miss bits. That one. That one. Um, so I do need to go and get them down. So, so for instance, there's stuff in Jennifer's room because if she's awake or if she's upset, I'll sit in there and I'll when she's dozing off I'll just sit in colour for a bit and then there's a bit in our room most of it's in our room and um, yeah I've got to bring it all down some of it's down here most of it's down here and then there's a fair bit in the bedroom as well because it just depends where I am where I colour So obviously at the moment because we're using the ink tents, I'm at the table and I'm filming so I do all of that at, at the table. But when I colour, normally I sit over on the coffee table and I watch my YouTube and I have it run in the background and I just colour. I haven't made many videos lately, although you've been seeing a constant stream, that's because I've had some in the bag for a while, um, just because I'm so tired at the moment. This cold is still lingering, it's much better now, but it is still lingering and it does affect my sleep. And I'm finding I'm not sleeping as well, or Jennifer will wake me up in the night and then I can't get back off to sleep. What I do then is, if I'm really awake, I'll come down and colour. But mostly I'm really dopey and tired. And I come down and I put the TV on <coughs> and I'll put on some YouTube channel. And I just let it play. I usually just fall asleep, I'll be honest. One of the ones I do that with is... a. Um, a um, um, music channel called, or uh, not music in the sense he play music videos, but a guy who has a channel called Record uh, Recordology, or Record Archaeology as he says, and uh, he reviews turntables and records and discs and all sorts of stuff. He um, is really into big band music like Glenn Miller. And it's just nice to have a person talking about equipment and records that's not into rock and roll or the modern stuff, although he does like Elvis. He's more into the big band stuff and so it's, it is actually nice to see somebody like that because there are some very very snobbish vinyl community people who think you should only be buying records if you're listening to like rap and hip-hop or hard metal and that is absolute nonsense. I mean, I got records ranging from metal to classics and big band and pop and rock. Not rap, because I can't stand the stuff. That's just my preference. And not, not hip-hop or R&B. I just don't like it. But that doesn't mean to say that somebody who does like it is wrong for listening to it. Of course they're not. We're all different and we all like different things. I mean, I bought, I was saying that when we went out, I also bought two records in Newport. I got distracted and started talking about something else, as usual. We were out in Newport, I went into the One Pound Charity Shop and I bought seven items to resell. Two really nice dresses and the rest are tops. Not huge profit in it, but it's going to bulk out what I get on the um, other um sale I go to because this weekend I can't go go to Newport because I'm having my hair cut. It's my hair week. Yay! And I might not be able to get much but I have got things like cameras and games I can list if if I run out of clothing. I still got a few dresses to do. I might do a dress load of skirts and dresses soon. I hate doing dresses. I'll do some tops tomorrow and then I'll do some dresses as well. 
So I'll be photographing tomorrow when I get home from work when Jennifer's having her nap and watching BBs. few sales this weekend nothing major I haven't beaten last month's profits but it's not far off and I'm not worried because I've bought um I bought tubs this month which I didn't last month I do need to get some more plastic garment bags stuff like that but they don't cost much so we'll probably order them at the end of the week doesn't matter if it goes on until next month. I know I can make, I know I'll make profit every month. And uh, that's the main thing. I'm not losing money. But I do need to spend some of it so I don't have to pay a huge tax bill. And I'm quite happy to put it back into the business like that. So if you're in the States, I know you're doing your tax returns and all that stuff is being done now. Our tax year ends in April, it runs about April the 6th I think, um, and um, we don't tend to get tax rebates because we pay as we earn, we don't have to submit the full lot. So I'm employed by a company and they pay my tax. I check my tax code every year to make sure it's correct and they pay my tax and my national insurance contributions which is for pension and healthcare. And then I submit a tax return um, sometime after April, so it's um, any time between April and the end of December, January or January 31st or something like that anyway. Um, and then they'll, can't, they'll let me know if I owe them any money and I'll pay it. Extra, but on my main job because I work part time, I don't earn enough to pay tax on it. But I may well go over it this time because of the profits are a bit higher this 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 year than last year. So it, the idea is that I'm building a business that I can rely on, which is why I'm trying to get more than one revenue stream. I do surveys. As long as they're not too long, a lot of the ones they have are like twenty minutes long, and the raw boards aren't that big. Um, if they're 15 or less I, I don't mind having to go but 9 times out of 10 I get thrown out because they've reached their quota of my demographic of person so it's frustrating it does get frustrating and they have a daily poll which gives you 5 points which I do every day when I finish making this video tonight I might go and have a go at one of their surveys even if it's a long one just to try and get some points on it because I really cash I cashed in my points the other week and it doesn't pay out much you have to earn a thousand points and it pays out seven pounds sixty so not a huge amount but it is a little bit of extra money to help and and, and that's partly why I would like to monetize my YouTube account I'm in two minds I'd like to because any extra cash would come in handy to help when I need to leave my job because unless I can get term time working which isn't likely I'll have to leave because I'll have no one to take care of Jennifer during the school holidays because you only get 30 hours of free childcare during the term time. But unfortunately, my parents now, are, my dad's 80 this year and they have a two days a week at the moment, two mornings, Mondays and Wednesdays and it's getting too much for them to be fair. And to be fair they're doing really well but I don't want that to be forever I, my dad loves having her he loves being with her my mum struggles but she's she loves it to bits they do they both love it to bits so but when they're you know nearly 80 it is a a lot for them the idea is that hopefully excuse me if I can keep the eBay going, I might be able to leave my job later this year. And if not, it'll be next year. But we'll have to see. I mean, I say leave my job, I'll still be working. I'll be just doing eBay when she's 
play them in nursery or my mum's or when she goes to to school I'll be just doing my eBay as my job my surveys and my YouTube if I ever get it monetized I'm not worried if I can't I, I do it for the love of it I love making the videos for you guys I love talking to you guys you know it gives me it makes me happy I like I like when I'm watching Grace color or Anne it makes me happy to see what people are doing you know it's like you know these people that you they're your friends even though they're not your friends if you know what I mean you know I don't know them and I wouldn't probably know them if I walked past them in the street because a lot of the time they're not on camera because we're coloring like this But, you know, you feel, you do feel like you know them. I mean, we don't give everything away. We don't tell all our little secrets because you need to keep something back. But I'm pretty open and honest. I mean, if I'm not feeling well, I, I tell you. If I'm feeling a bit low, I tell you. Nearly finished these roses and then it's just the roses around the edge to do. So this one is gonna take a few more episodes if you want me to keep doing it. I'm, I'm not we're not finishing yet by the way. We're only like 25 minutes in. So don't worry, we're not finishing yet. But like I said, I mean we we're getting there actually. We are getting there. It's not gonna be hugely long. Now it's just how much do you want to see the same picture? But I, I guess you like to see it from start to finish. You like to see the process, which makes sense. Like I said, I will do the edges off camera, possibly tomorrow night when I'm not filming. I've got some flip throughs to put up, so I might put one of them up tomorrow. And then I'll just colour it, I won't activate it, and we'll activate it on screen, on camera for you. Yeah. So yeah, this is really nice. I can't believe we're at the last week of February now. The last week of February. That is absolutely madness. Do you know what I mean? that we're about to go into the third month of 2020 already. It is almost March. So we've got our, um, um, I've got, I've got my one for St. Patrick's Day that I'm going to do in one of my books. So we'll probably do that with markers. I think it's in one of the grayscale books I've got, which you'll see my new books fairly shortly. Um, then we'll do that with Marcus and we'll just do it one long St Paddy's Day video. Um, so I'll film it the day before and we'll put it out for St Patrick's Day. That would be nice. I'm still waiting for the Everblend skin tones to come back in stock so I can order them. I don't really want them. I've got the money for them. It's sitting in my PayPal account because it was the money I got for my Project Zero games. So, as I said, as soon as they come in, I can order them. I've got the money. It's not a problem with that at all. But, and at the end of this month, because I've got so much money to go back in from my eBay, not profit, this is just money I've spent on postage, because what I do is, postage is in uh, the, the selling, so it's like either free shipping, it's included in the price, or it's added on. But of course, I just put it onto my drop and go account, and then at the end of the month, or when I need it, I transfer it back into my account. So because I've got, with stock, um, sundries, which is stuff like, storage boxes and plastic bags consumables 
and posted, I've got nearly £100 to put back in. I will be definitely ordering at the end of this month one of the Clara Markova books. Uh, possibly the first one because I haven't seen it, I haven't got it. Um, and I want to try and get them pretty much in order if I can. But so yeah, I'm definitely going to be ordering one of them from Etsy. I did think about doing it now because I have got money in my account but I just want to make and I don't need to I need I know I'm going to make it to the end of the month I just like to make sure because obviously I still got a, a, a sale to go to and I will need to put money in my drop and go account again so but yeah so I will be definitely ordering that as one of my uh, books for March I don't know when it will come in but uh, I'm looking forward to that and I'll try and do that every month, try and get one every month. I'm straight again now after Christmas. Um, Christmas was a nightmare last year. What well, with my, well, Christmas wasn't the problem, it was because my car, car broke down and I had to get a new car, which I have and I love it, that it used up money I could have been using on Christmas. So, oh, it was a nightmare. But anyway, it's all sorted now. I'm, I'm all back up and running bit of money left over at the end of the month which is nice it's always nice to have a bit left over and of course with the money going back in from my PayPal account for sundries and postage because last month I was putting it in every few days I was transferring it back in I haven't transferred any of it this time it means I can go and get at least one of the books maybe even two but I will just get one I'll be sensible let's get the one and then we can get the other one um, another time. I mean, there's five of them now, so the idea is to just try and get one every month or every other month. To the end of the I just need to back up the bathroom. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. All right, let's crack on. So we're just doing this one down here. So I've only had like three sales this weekend, it's been quite quiet but I haven't been listening because I've been so tired um, and I haven't been sleeping very well. So, so I've been sleeping because I've had this cold and it's still, it's going but it's sort of tried to come back with a vengeance last week and it was, I don't know whether that's leaf or rose, I'm making it rose. Oh, that bit. I um. Well, that would be because that's the inside of the. That's fine. Yeah, I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, it came out. And I was I was trying to sleep, and every time you know I'd go to sleep for a few hours, and then I'd wake up around two, bunged up, or one or two o'clock, bunged up and unable to get back off to sleep because I couldn't breathe properly. And that's the problem when you get the cold, it's very hard to sleep lying down. So I come downstairs and make a drink, put YouTube on for a bit, or yeah, put YouTube on for a bit. And then I would just sit there and doze off with my drink in my hand. Sometimes I spilt it on me. It, uh, it was tea, but luckily by the time I dozed off it was cold anyway. Uh, the other night I did it and I could feel myself dropping off. I was holding a cup and I thought, right, I'll go put this down. So I popped it down and I just dozed off sitting up. And then when I wake up my, my nose was clear. So I, as I said, I'll do this, there's a rosebud over here, I'll do that later, separately. I um, just went up. Um, went back up to bed then. Which was nice. I like sleeping, I like my bed. Always have, i got to be honest. I mean, I've always pretty much been a night owl as well. Even when I was little, my mum said she, she, I wouldn't sleep when I was a baby. Uh, during the night, I would only sleep during the day. 
and the receptionist at the doctor's surgery when she went there once said well just wake her up and I was like yeah you try waking up a sleeping baby mate you know it's just where I've always been so I do sleep at night because obviously um, convention dictates that I have to go to work during the day sadly and uh, you know but I go to bed a lot later than Paul most days. He goes to bed around half nine or nine-ish. He went up early today because he was tired. I should probably go up about eleven-ish. If I'm lucky, I'll sleep till about four. And then I'll wake up dry, lean in the bathroom, go to the bathroom. I'll have a drink and if I can, I'll go back to sleep. But if not, I come down on the sofa till the alarm goes off, which I must reset because we had Friday off, so I've actually turned the alarm off. And then uh, we'll. When the alarm goes off, I'll uh, have my breakfast and start getting ready for work. Joy. It's not as bad as I make out. Once I'm there, I'm fine. It's just getting there. It's just like, oh, the thought of it. And I think most people feel like that. The thought of going to work is... Ugh. So... I still haven't coloured much this month. I finished one, two, three, four... One upstairs, five. I'm hoping to finish another one that's upstairs, which should be six. I'm doing a grayscale one, so seven. Not many. I've got the, I whip in the um, current um, Colour in Heaven, which is the Woodland Animal Fantasy one. It's a beautiful book, but I'm not very good at animals, and there's a lot of animals in it. So I'm really not feeling it. And I did start using it with the Black Widows, because the Black Widows go really nice on that paper, but I'm still not feeling that. I might have to try a different colour on the... I was doing some green stems, and I just wasn't... I didn't like the way they came out, so... What I might do is, uh... Get a different green. Try again! Because I do like that. I like these books. I'm, I'm, I love that book. I think it's so beautiful. But it's just... I don't know. I'm not very good at those sorts of pictures. That's why I need to practice. <laughs> well. It was a good job I stopped the camera to go to the bathroom when I did because it was about to turn itself off anyway. It goes off every 30 minutes. So it stops recording after 30 minutes. So I did, did it right really. I don't know what I'm going to do about the background. I've got to be honest. I don't want to leave it white because it'll look weird. But I don't know what colour to do it. Maybe I'll use some green pebbles chalks on it or something, I don't know. I'll have a think about that. Because hopefully we'll finish this one this week. And then of course we'll move on to the, um, the Kelly Horton one. Which I'm looking forward to. So that's that bit. Okay. So up here we've got a um, needle and thread. So needle and thread is here. I think we'll do that next. And I think cotton reel, that colour I think it is. There's a burnt orange and I think that's what colour I'm going to do just very lightly with that. And then we'll get 
link this colour in here and here just to give it a little bit of there, that'll do that put these reds back obviously I, I know I need them again for doing that one that's on the side yeah, that's fine. So we'll do the threads blue because her dress is blue. And I use, if I can find the right colour, it was up in this one. This was one of the colours I used. I know that because it's quite a short one. There's a colour I use a lot and it's iris blue, which is a lovely colour. The good thing with the ink tents is you can buy them individually, I believe. So you can get them open stock. I mean, I do love pencils that you can get open stock. Because it's so much better. Because you don't always need every single colour. The only thing I'm thinking of is I am thinking of getting another set of the um, Prisma colours because a lot of the ones of those I've got are going, getting shorter because I use the Prismas a lot now. They're not that expensive to buy, even in the UK, but just because I use them so much, I don't mind buying a complete set of 150 pack again. Amazing, there's no bottom, bottom on that cotton reel, but there you go. This is nice and it's not really going through, it's not going through at all. I did do something on the front name page with it and it did go through a little bit but I think I pressed quite hard, I was doing a strawberry. But it still looks nice and it's not gone through so much that it would be a problem to to fix to be honest it would be very easy to cover not like if you were using alcohol markers but then if you want to use alcohol markers in these books even though they're double sided of course you can it's your book just pick a page that you really love to do with alcohol markers and a page that you're not bothered on losing and you'll be fine I won't do the needle yet because of the ink needs to dry We've got some wool up here, which I'm not going to do in blue. I think I'm going to do that in orange and orange, I think. We haven't got no orange, really, have we? Is that that burnt orange again? There's tangerine. Or should I do it in the reds? I don't think it really matters. I think I might do it poppy red, actually which is the colour we've used on the roses, so. so we'll just do this. I don't know how long this video is, I know it's over 40 minutes, I think we're probably about 45 maybe, so I might just do this ball of wool and then I'll stop and then what I'll probably do is start doing off camera down the side although I probably won't do it all in one go just so that it's ready for when we come in on the next and our hopefully last session apart from the background background I'll probably do that off camera as well 
but I do would like to get this one finished before the end of the month because it's a really nice picture. It's just there's so much of it and there's so much And then I haven't done the strand. Yeah. And next time we'll put we colour in this book, or I colour in this book, I'll probably colour in using coloured pencils. Or maybe I'll use the watercolour from WH Smiths. Because they're really nice ones as well. You know? Maybe I'll use those. say that these are pearls so we'll do them in a sort of a grey colour and then we've got the pocket watch and the mice uh, the scissors and the buttons and there's a key and whatever it is on that side and the needle and the background probably won't take that much longer especially if I colour down that side before and then film me just activating the colours just because it's so hard to get into those corners so we're nearly done today so I said I don't use ink tents very often I do like the way they look they're beautiful and they're vibrant and that will do. If I wanted to do a bit more blending and shading afterwards I could. Being me, once I've done a picture once that's it for me. I've had enough, I don't want to do it anymore. So here we are, this is what we've done now. We have practically finished the dress, we've done all the flowers. We just have this bit of lace to do, I'm going to do that in a pink. I just need to find the right colour pink. Um, We've done all the roses and leaves around the edge, apart from this one bud here, which I'll do in a minute. Um, but we'll activate the water on camera. And we've just got these little mice, pearls, the pocket watch, just the little bits around the edge. And then the background, which like I said, I haven't decided what I'm doing with. Any ideas on what I should do on the background, guys, let me know. Uh, that's going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me think. Let me know what you think. Also, don't forget to uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends just in case they're interested, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so we're notified every time I post a video. And don't forget, join Andrea's Attic Colouring Group on Facebook if you so wish. I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye!